video, I'm going to show you how I changed out my map. I redid it and made it better. I'm Bill. I'm Kelly. And this is our This adventure. is our adventures. Oh. Here we go. In a lot of my videos, I have people asking me all the time about our map that we pin all the places that we go on in our RV. So I wanted to show you how I made a new one. I love this one, but I can improve a lot on this one. So let's go back a few days and show you how that was done. Well, all right, here we are a few days earlier because our camper is at the hunting club. I'm having to do this in several parts because I've got to do the map here and then take it there to install it. What I have bought to do this map, my original map, I had bought some cork board and it was like in a roll. That was all I could find at the time. And it just never has laid really flat. And it just it keeps wanting to curl up. Then when everybody kept asking me about how I did the map, I thought, you know what? I think I can do it again and I think I can do it better this time. Because the first time was just like a trial and error and I don't think that it turned out perfect. Which I don't think anything can turn out perfect, but I can do a lot better than I did with that one. So what I did is I bought, I bought the squares from Amazon and they come eight in a pack and you only need six of them for the map that I got. Now, the map you can order, I ordered it off of Amazon. I kind of went with more of a traditional map, but they have like some fun maps. They have all kinds of maps. So you don't have to just stick with just what I have done on my map, but you can go and get like a really fun map. Now, what I'm gonna do, I've let my map lay out for a couple, about a week right now, because when it came, it was curled up and it kept wanting to curl up and we don't want it to curl up. We want it to lay flat because that's what I had the problem with the cork board on the last one is it kept wanting to roll up and I could never get it to lay flat because it came rolled. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm gonna move my map and this is the six cork boards that I have. And what I think, what I, what I have decided to do is I went to the Dollar Tree and bought two foam boards. These are just like the foam core. They're a dollar a piece because I needed like a sturdy backing and we didn't want to do anything heavy because we are putting it in the camper and we want to keep it as light as we can because you could put plywood as a sturdy backing and even I was like after I had done ordered the cork and everything you know you could take a couple of these put them together and the push pins would still work in this and then you could glue the mat to this so if you don't want to buy the cork that I bought you can go to Dollar Tree, buy a few of the, the foam core and put them together and use those as your back and then stick those. So that's totally, but I already bought the cork. I bought the cork before I bought the foam core. If I had bought the foam core first, I would have been like, oh, I would have ordered the cork. But I have it, so we're going to use it. So what I gotta do is I've got to put these two pieces together to have a big enough piece for the mouth. So I went to the Dollar General and I got some Gorilla, white Gorilla duct tape. Ah. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it open. Now, you can use regular duct tape or anything. I just wanted to use white because this is white and I wanted it to match, and that just did not come off right. <laughs> the, uh, the paper around the Gorilla tape is really good too. We can seam rip this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's some tough tape. There, all right. So 
So I have this white duct tape and then I'm just gonna, let me move these out of my way. These are my other things that I'm using. I'm just taking the duct tape and we're going to duct tape this together in the center and we want it tight to make sure that it holds together. And we're gonna tape it all the way around. And it doesn't really matter if you tape it all the way around, I guess you could just do it down because we're gonna end up cutting this down to fit. All right, so we have that together. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna lay out my six cork. Put them together and I'm gonna mark my foam core where I need to cut it and when you order your map like what I how I ended up figuring how many pieces of cork I needed it said what size the map was on there that way I knew that it fit perfect all right I've got this draw I've got this laid out I'm gonna take a pin draw around it and then we're gonna cut this out And I'm going to use as an exact pretty sharp so it cuts really well. see what I just did because I just realized that my overhead camera uh, was off. <laughs> oh well. All right, so now after I got that traced and cut out, at least that wasn't like a crazy step that you might have missed. Now I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to glue these cork boards, cork squares, down to my foam core. You want to make sure you've got the glue all the way around the outside edges and then just kind of squirrel through the middle. And it's not going to take a ton to keep it. Alright, three down, three to go. This is gonna be a really easy project too. I mean, like anybody can do it for sure. Last one. then we're going to put the map on now to put the map on there's like a ton of different ways you could probably do this I, I'm hoping <laughs> oh. I got 
several of these from the Dollar General and they are only a dollar. And so it was double-sided sticky tape. I'm hoping that that's gonna be the best option to put the map on. I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna use a little hot glue. The only reason I don't think I wanna use the hot glue the whole time is because you will probably, it'll probably bubble it up, but I'm gonna end up going around the edges and doing the hot glue at the end. But I wanna put this on to hold all the center, if that makes any sense. And I bought a couple of these because I don't know how far a dollar is gonna take us. So, the map fits on this perfect. I'm trying not to bleed on the thing from my paper cuts. <laughs> so, we're gonna take this and I'm just gonna strip this all out. That's why I just was putting this on there just to make sure it all fits and it fits perfect. All right, let me strip this out. Oh, guess it would help if I do it the right way. I'm kind of doing these to start with a little bit wider in between each. <laughs> Just because I don't know how much of this I'm going to have and I don't want to run out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and do quite a few of them this way. And then I'm going to do some this way. I'm going to do like a cross pattern. And I just ran out of that one. I'm glad I bought two. Two's going to be about perfect of these. And now I'm gonna go really close to the edge, all the way around. I've got that side pretty close. I just didn't do the top and the bottom real close. And I'm gonna use all of this. I just have a little bit left. I'm just making sure we have it everywhere. Whoop! I'm about out. And I'm just kinda going across this way. And I'm out. So I just used all of those. Now this should lay right on top of it and we're good. Now you only get one shot with this, so we gotta make sure we hit the corners. Good as I thought it should. the shape of the United States I went in and cut it out and that was really hard to do especially cutting through cork board and all that so I really don't think that I want this one to be cut like that I think I'm gonna leave this just how I have it but I am going to go in and I do want to glue down the edges I just want to make sure that this is stuck 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 good but I wanna go around and I'm gonna glue the edges because I'm afraid like the camper gets hot and cold. This might peel off and it end up being in the floor. We don't want that to happen. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna glue the edges. That way, it's sticking pretty good though. But I'm just kind of going around because I want to make sure that it stays. So I'm just tucking a little glue in on the edges. That stuff's sticking pretty good. But like I said, I'm scared that when it gets hot, it's going to be like, see ya. Now, at this point, 
you could be done. Like, that's it. You're just gonna go get some command strips and stick it to the wall. You can do so many things. Like if you had some ribbon, you could outline it in some ribbon. And I may do that. I think that's kind of cute. I just don't know if I have enough ribbon. I may have to go get some. But you can hot glue this ribbon around the outside to give it like, make it cuter. You could get some pieces of lightweight wood, stain it, frame it. You can do that. I mean like there's, the options are endless. But this is gonna be so cute because you can just stick your pins where you go. And I love it. We love ours that we have in our camper now. So let's go back to the camper and show you how it looks installed. So this is probably overkill, but I just want to make sure it stays up. Ooh. All right, here it is. It is up. I love how it turned out. I ended up adding this ribbon around it that I really like. Let me go show you how I did that. So to glue this on, I'm going to glue the two side strips. I'm going to cut them straight and we're going to just glue those in like this. And then we're going to, we're going to glue that straight all the way down. And then we're going to cut the bottom straight across and glue the two side pieces this way. And what we're going to do is we want to do the glue to glue that down and we're gonna make sure we're straight where we want and then just start at the top and pull it down so that's glued and that's glued straight up and down so then I'm going to go ahead and do the other side the exact same way and then I'm going to show you how we're going to finish off the corners to make them pretty so to make this corner, you're going to fold this over. It's just kind of makes like a little triangle right here. That way it has a finished edge. And then we're just going to go ahead and put a little bit of glue here. And we're going to stick that down so that it has a edge and then we're gonna have to stick another little bit of glue behind it and we're gonna keep that to a point and then we're gonna let that dry and then we're gonna go to the other side and do the exact same thing and let me show you on this here too you're gonna want to put a piece of glue there and then lay that down like that so that way it matters that little corner and you can it holds it in place and then it just starts off of there and then we're gonna cut that to the end and we're gonna matter this corner as well and just basically a little diamond and then we're gonna have to i go ahead and glue that little piece to make that little diamond point and then just glue the whole thing like we did the sides. There. And then if you have any spots that you need to go back and add, like, see that point's gonna be needed. You can just go lift this up, add a little glue, and it lays it down. All right, 
I'm gonna finish the bottom side and that's just gonna frame this off. All right, I am going to put my pins back in here that I had bought just on Amazon. I will link everything that I used in this video below. I hope you enjoyed this and hopefully I would love for you to go find us on Instagram and tag us with your map that y'all have done for your RV because I would love to see everybody's map. Welcome to all our new subscribers. Till next time, like and subscribe. While I love the, the shape of the other one, it was really hard to cut out and it made the edges funny and I didn't want to mess this one up and I really liked it. I moved it down on the uh, wall because I'm gonna end up putting like a picture gallery there of like a lot of the places that we go or different cool pictures that I take while we're on our trip. I really like it. It turned out good. The only thing that I realized the other one that I did, I actually used a real map that was thinner and it actually had like all the little streets and little towns. This one is kind of more vague, so you just kind of have to hit an area. Whichever, whichever way you decide to do is great as long as you're just marking your journeys.